Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Deltre. And we are finally back with some more Fire Emblem Base Lunatic Conquest. Good god, guys, it has been so long. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can just, I can just run around my castle like a maniac. <laughs> oh, it's been so long since I've done this, guy. It feels good. It feels really good to be back <laughs> analyzing this dumpster fire once more. <laughs> and before we actually, before we actually get into this, I just wanted to say welcome to all the new faces that I have seen. It has been, what, six months? So I'm sure there's a few of you out there. Uh, we're just going to dive right back into it, more or less. But there is one thing that I did want to address, and I've seen this a few times now. So for some reason, <laughs> and I can tell these are new people who are saying this, because if you had been around since the beginning, you never would. But for some strange reason, people seem to have the implication that there ever was a time when I had my sanity intact. <laughs> ah, roll clip. La la la. Hooray, it's heads. Fuck you. I call bullshit. You have, this is a rigged coin. It's like weighted or some shit. No, I don't want to go again. Suck my balls. La la la. La la la. And if you dance over 160 times, you have a 100% chance to get this additional bonus. Uh, first of all, what the fuck? Oh, you cannot be serious. I thought maybe this was a little bit too easy. But these goddamn floating spurn cells. Oh my god, what is that? Is that my left nut? It's a little bit too late for any of that, though, my friend. Zeno is in the house. They call him the morning after pill. Ugh! And now that you've walked right into my range like a dumbass, I can just stab you with this spear, so goodbye! I understand. As His Excellency commands. Fuck! Okay, we're back. Sierra the Witch. Oh! La la la. Rescue me? I wasn't aware I was in any danger. From what? What do you mean, Adrum? This is the dress of a superstar. Look, isn't it pretty? Just, just change back to your normal clothes, okay? But it really brings out my cleavage. You're like 14. Stop. Why? Nice try. You'd have to wake up a little bit earlier than that to kill old Plum. Plum can really take a B. Hmm. Wah, wah. Why? You know how in those old cartoons where ever a character has like some kind of moral conflict, it's usually represented by like what? An angel and a devil on their shoulder, right? Well, that's kind of like me every day, except on one shoulder I have a devil and the other one is Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Can't blame anybody but me for this crap, dude. This is all me. <laughs> but but, but in, in all seriousness, though, I did actually want to thank again everybody who has been patient up until this point. I I know I saw a lot of people say, "Oh, Deltry, you don't gotta, you know, you don't gotta explain anything. You don't gotta say this. Don't gotta say that." Clearly, I do, and I think that. Uh, the previous update video more or less solidifies that fact. You guys are great. You guys are amazing. And I honestly appreciate each and every one of you. <laughs> Alright, no more being soft though. We're done with that until like 10,000 subs or whatever the next time you guys make me do this. <laughs> now, as I recall, last time we took a spin on Fuga's Wild Ride. And what really surprised me about that one was seeing some of the comments that you guys had. Honestly, people were very, very split on uh, Chapter 20. And that's not something that I really expected. I kind of assumed that that was one of the more generally disliked maps in the series. Uh, in the game, certainly, but in, the, like, series-wide, I thought for sure that that would be one that everybody agreed was just awful. But no, I actually saw quite a few people say that they really genuinely enjoyed that map. And I guess that just goes to show you that, you know, everybody's gonna have their own opinions, right? Everybody's gonna have their own preferences and what they do and do not enjoy. Anybody that tells you that a map is objectively good, objectively bad, da-da-da-da-da, well, you can't really you can't really say that. You know what I mean? Everybody has their own taste. Everybody's gonna have something that they enjoy uh, that somebody may that somebody else may really not find enjoyable whatsoever. But I do think that one thing that we can all agree on is that the worst thing that a map or a game in general can be is boring, right? That's the last thing that you really want. I play a game to have fun. I don't play it to be bored out of my mind. And that kind of ties back into why I personally don't like Chapter 20 in that. Uh, due to some of the wind patterns that we were seeing on that map, sooner or later I feel that that map 
will eventually force you into a corner. Like, you'll be making some really good progress. You feel like you're kind of on top of things, you know what I mean? Everything is going smoothly, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes this wind pattern that just forces you to back off. Everybody's got to run away to the corner. You can't do anything. You can't make any kind of progress. And that's the kind of thing that I personally really, really hate. I just cannot stand it when the game forces me to just... I don't want to say I can't stand it when a game forces me to play a certain way. That's not really what it is. It's just when the game seems to artificially halt your progress. That's when I kind of take exception. That's when I start to lose interest a little bit. And I feel like that chapter 20 is not quite fine-tuned in such a way that you can tackle it in any number of ways. I feel like there's a very, very specific way that you have to do it. And I feel like the way that the game forces you to play is just not very fun for me. For me. And I, it's it's weird because it's it's close. It like I feel like if they would have just messed with the wind patterns a little bit more, it probably would have not bothered me so much. But the way it is, I don't know. It's just it's something that I can't really get behind personally. But a lot of you guys did seem to enjoy that map. And the guys who didn't probably enjoyed seeing me smash it, so there's always that. Also, somebody had brought up a, uh, like, a fan comic thing where Azure is the main villain, and now I can't see her as anything else. It, it was called, like, Sociopath Azure or some crap. And yeah, this girl goes around manipulating us to do all these heinous acts, and it's just ridiculous how much she gets away with. Like, who is Azure anyways? Why does she have so much power here? There's a lot of questions I have about this woman now, I have to say. We also have all of one support between Dude and Leo. Let's just go ahead and knock this out, and then we can jump into the next map. A map that I really like. I think we're kind of back onto the upswing with this game, which is good. I'm glad to be done with that midsection, that's for sure. Leo, can I borrow you for a moment? No. Certainly, what do you need? I was hoping you could help me study. You wish to study in the middle of a war. I'm happy to help, but why are you suddenly so serious about your education? I thought broadening my horizons might help me protect everyone. That's actually a good idea. Now that we're at war, I can practice what I learned right away in a real battle. The battlefield is not so kind, nor so simple. I'm sure you've learned that by now, haven't you, dude? Well, yes, but... However, I do think intellectual pursuits play a key role in keeping a mind sharp. There we go. I do think intellectual pursuits play a key role in keeping a mind sharp. That can make all the difference in the heat of battle. If you truly desire it, I will teach you anything you wish to know. Thank you, Leo. But don't expect me to go easy on you. You know how strict I am about my studies. Um, I know, but maybe you could lighten up just a little. Absolutely not. You ask the way he's for real. You ask the impossible. I'll be as strict as I need to be to help your mind grow. Don't forget, you're the only one who sought this out. Well, I suppose that's true. I'll do whatever you ask of me without complaint. Spoken like a model pupil. Now, let's begin. I really do like Leo. I don't know, I'm finding him to be... You know, he's not so serious. Well, I, he has a character that's pretty serious. But the way the game treats him isn't so serious so as to not be any kind of fun. But like... I don't know, I just feel like as a character he strikes a good balance between comic relief and actual seriousness, you know what I mean? Now then, Chapter 21, The Eternal Stairway. Dude's army approaches the Eternal Stairway. They expect to meet Hoshin and forces, but something else awaits them. What could it possibly be? Well, we haven't seen monsters in a while. <laughs> I actually really like this map, though. I saw some people uh, on previous parts say that this map was awful, and I, I just don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. Uh, you're f like, feel free to feel however you want to feel, but this one was actually a lot of fun for me. Now then. <laughs> so, the little snake has slithered out of our grasp once more. Um. How did that ragtag team manage to make it through the Wind Tribe Village? <laughs> Pretty easy, you should ask Camilla. One of their ranks should have lost a leg or two, <laughs> or at least an arm by now, goddammit! Yet they are all in perfect health and in high spirits. How utterly disappointing. King Garon must be furious. As his advisor, it is my duty to set things right. Luckily, their next stop is in a fitting location for dude's fall from grace. The Eternal Stairway, rumored to lead straight to hell. Ha <laughs> it's too perfect. I wonder how many friends and loved ones our little princess will lose there. Zero, boy. <laughs> Prepare to drown in your despair, Lady Dude. Well, actually one, technically. Your king and I look forward to feasting upon your cries of agony. Feast upon my lance. Well, dude's not a lance user. If she was, though. If she was, though. Dude is super, super broken, guys. <laughs> Man, it's been so long. I don't really remember all of my preparations for this one. But I, th I think we'll manage. 
Ah, so many stairs. Just a shot in the dark here, but is this the external stairway? Gee, do you think? It is. Once we make it through here, we'll be near the Hoshiden Castle. Soldiers will undoubtedly be awaiting our arrival, but this path is our only option. We'll have to break through their numbers by sheer force. Well, see, this is what I'm talking about. Azura seems to be the one in control here. I don't know how I feel about all that. And so we shall. Well, let's get on with it. We've got trouble. <laughs> and there it is. My, my lady, we have an emergency. Let me guess. Hoshiden soldiers. Well, um, um, well, yes, but, um, I mean, no. It, it's a little... Oh, boy. So, the thing is, um... God I'm damn it, Felicia. Quiet, Felicia. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Your stammering isn't helping anyone. Milady, we scouted ahead as ordered. We found a great many Hoshiden soldiers. Old Zed. The stairs up ahead are littered with their corpses. What was that? Gods, what happened? Mm -hmm. We're not sure. They appear to be healthy, strong warriors. How healthy can they possibly be if they're dead, Felicia? Get with the program! And yet, there's not a single survivor. It's it's awful to behold. It can't be. Hmm, perhaps Father sent another unit of Norian soldiers ahead of us. Yeah. Highly unlikely, Milady. There's no way they could have passed us unnoticed. The only other route is to, into Hoshidor. <laughs> the only other route into Hoshidor requires crossing the bottomless canyon, but they would have had to circle back, so we would have gotten here first. Not to worry. A tragedy, to be sure. <laughs> I missed this. I missed this, guys. <laughs> but this works out quite nicely for us. Having our enemy taken care of before we even arrive is a huge boon. <laughs> we should take advantage of this and get going before more troops arrive. Yes. Agreed. These soldiers would have fallen anyway. Better than it's not by our hands. What are you talking about, Leo? Think of all the experience. We should be grateful that someone's... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's not Leo at all. We should be grateful that someone saved us the trouble of a tiring battle. I suppose, but... Huh? What's that sound? Gee, I don't know. I, I just don't care for the faceless at all. Like, they're just they're just so boring. <laughs> I get, like... Ugh. That's my faceless, by the way. Faceless, here! Whoa, whoa. Oh no, oh no, oh no! There are too many of them and they're headed right for us! Oh. Damn! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I love that voice clip so much, guys. Damn, so this is what befell those Hoshinan soldiers. We must not let the same thing happen to us. Felicia, follow me! Yeah, bullshit, bullshit, Jacob! If you were that good, you wouldn't be sitting on the bench. Rawr. I'll take that and that! Yeah, you too, Felicia. Where is that, Felicia? Huh? The one that can one-shot these guys? I don't remember any of that. Grr. It's no use. There are too many of them. Everyone pull back. We can't win this battle. We can't leave. They've got us surrounded. Well, that's just great. No. We're trapped. Oh, my. Oh, father. Did you really have to send quite so many of these beasties? Camilla, this is no joking matter. What are you talking about? I'm always serious. Something's not right. Even Father wouldn't dispatch this many faceless to one location. There's more at play here than we know. We'll figure it out later. For now, we need to concentrate on making it out alive. All we can do is carve through the faceless and head to the top of the stairs. I thought they were the endless stairs. Everyone watch each other's backs. I won't lose any of you. I won't. Are they trying to hint at the fact that, well, <laughs> I don't know, man. We're just gonna blast through this real quick. Now, normally I would take a little bit more care in explaining who is who and why they are here, but this is pretty much the usual suspects at this point, honestly. Nothing really too out of the ordinary here. Uh, but if you're curious specifically who I am bringing, the only one who is kind of out of the ordinary, the only one who you might have been expecting, who is not going to come, is Gunter. We don't really need him here. Uh, so the gimmick with this map, as we'll see here in a second, is the fact that there's going to be endless reinforcement. Oh, I guess Audra is going to explain it to me. I guess she just knows everything. Goddamn. Listen carefully, dude. We cannot possibly vanquish this many faceless. There's no end in sight. We must try to get past them as quickly as possible. Well, you said it, not me. Escape with all allies. So, something that you can do if, for whatever reason, you do not have the capabilities to clear out this map in an efficient and effective manner, would be to just kind of cheese it with a few units, because you do need to escape with all of the units that you deploy. Every single one. They have to either die or escape at the top of the map, right up here. Uh, so there's there's quite a few different tiles. You don't have to go to like one specific point So you can kind of use that to your advantage. You just have to get to the top as we see right there though The dragon veins on this map will actually inflict freeze to every single enemy on the map 
So it changes it from this sort of this sort of numbers game where the enemy has the advantage in just about every way. You can see there's way, way more of them than there are of us. And it changes from that into this sort of situation where you have to try and carefully decide who you need to be taking out on your way so that you can uh, reach the top safely, essentially. Now, the biggest issue on this map are not these faces, but instead those other big golem-looking guys. We have cool-looking uh, cool map sprites, but uh, I, I really hate their models. They, they just look so dumb. We'll see that in a second here. We're going to start the party off with Felicia. It's these stoneborn guys, essentially. These are the main issue right here. They have these rocks, and they are literally just giant-ass rocks that they will throw at you. They have one to five range. They're really, really strong, and all of them have wary fighter. Now, I do remember that I ended up buying the lightning spell for Leo, because we're going to need that here if we want any chance of taking these guys out effectively. Because as you can see, even though they have only 10 speed due to that wary fighter, we cannot double them, even with somebody like Elise. But we are going to go in with her first. Because she has that savage blow. Of course, uh, really when you're going melee ignite, the draw is sort of trample, right? Such a really good ability. But savage blow is really, really helpful as well because now we've put this guy into rage for Leo. He's not strong enough to actually one round KO them on his own. But with that extra little bit of chip damage, he will be doing just fine here. He'll be doing just fine. But of course, we are going to have to dance for him in order to get him anywhere near that other stone boar. Yeah, I really I don't like their animations. I didn't really comment on that, but I think the mask just looks kind of... I, I don't know. I get I get that they're faceless, right? They're not supposed to have faces, but it just... Ugh. That thing behind their map... That, that thing behind their mask is just like a black void. It's, it's so weird to me. I don't know. I, I definitely like the uh, monster design. It echoes a lot more. Let me just put it that way. Now with Leo, though, with him sufficiently danced for, we can move him up here. Use the lightning and blow the sky away. Lightning is, of course, again, in case you have not played this game, it is a brave tome, essentially. So we're getting two attacks off on this guy, despite the fact that he has wary fighters. Really, really good stuff there. And we can also avoid a counter attack because we're, we're taking our attacks in quick succession like that. So we don't have to worry about any of that. Leo's going to be perfectly healthy. He's, of course, going to get a sick level up because he's been a baller. This guy has been so good this playthrough. I have no words. I just have no words for this guy. Camilla, too, for that matter, but that's a little bit more expected. She's, she's disgusting. Now, by moving Moses right here, we are actually going to be in range of one of those Stoneborn, but we are going to be putting these guys into range for her to take out on the next turn. This crit doesn't matter at all. <laughs> it's funny, that's for sure. Mozu puts in work as to be expected. There's C rank in both. That's going to give us a little bit more firepower, as well as allow us to use things like the Killer Bow. I'm actually going to do your turn. But now with Camilla, we can take this guy out thanks to the additional chip damage from Elise as well as her Savage Blow. This guy goes down, and really that's the big thing with this map, I think. You really want to kill these Stoneborn, because the, the Faceless, right, when you when you freeze them in place, they, they really can't do too much to you at all. It's those goddamn Stoneborn with their 1 to 5 range. Those are the guys you really want to look out for, in my opinion. Uh, the rest of the guys, it really just comes down to intelligently choosing who you want to kill. And I, I find this map a lot of fun because of that. It's not, like I said at the beginning, it's not really a numbers game. You're not trying to kill every single enemy. You're just trying to kill the right enemies, if that makes sense. Uh, there's also a boss at the very top, a paired up group of faceless, and one of them will drop an arm scroll, so we want to grab that if we can. It's a very useful piece of uh, stat boosting equipment. That'll, again, in case you forgot, it's been a while, it'll boost all of your weapon ranks by one stage. Now, ordinarily right here, I would have had Felicia heal dude, but since she dodged, we don't need to do that. We're also going to dance for silence right here. With that Blessed Lance, he's actually getting a lot of recovery. Uh, one of you guys actually a while ago pointed out the fact that, uh, although the Blessed Lance doesn't really necessarily come into play a whole lot for its monster slaying abilities, the fact that it's giving you so much of your health back at the beginning of every turn is kind of nice. I think it's 20 or even 30%, which is just absolutely massive. You can see Silas went from really low to being able to take another hit from these guys without having to waste any time healing him up, which is really nice. I, yeah, that's a really good weapon for that and that alone. Now, again, we want to be taking out these stupid-ass golems as much as possible. Camilla has the killer axe, so there's a chance that she just gimps them like that, which, uh, honestly, I wasn't... <laughs> I'd kind of prefer if she didn't do that too, too much. I'd rather get experience on my other guys, you know? Uh, because we were able to crit this guy, though, I can... Well, here's what I would have done. I would have moved in Silas first and just had him kill this one. He's going to be building up shield gauge, so even though the, he's going to be on, like, what? 2 HP, it doesn't matter, because he's still going to be able to survive any one hit after this due to the fact that he'll have a full guard available. He may not even get hit. He does, of course, but hey. 
And this is about the best opportunity that we have to uh, raise his support with Selena. So we're going to take advantage of that as much as possible. Ideally, uh, Silas would be putting the world on his back right here. Just so that we can get these two dudes to bone already. Oh, that's all I'm trying to do, man. Uh, pretty good level up there, man. Pretty good level up. No HP, but that's not really necessary, obviously. <laughs> Who needs HP, right? I guess if you're going to be getting so much defense, it doesn't matter too, too much. But, uh, man, he's just... If he just had, like, five more HP. Like, by default. That'd be so good. That'd be so good. And, and the main reason for that is that once we start getting the child characters, guys, like, they... They can honestly replace 90% of my first gen units. The child characters in this game are not so insane as they were in like, oh, let's say Genealogy of the Holy War, where they're just walking nukes, waiting to go off on the nearest thing dumb enough to get into their general vicinity. But in this game, they're still pretty good. They're still pretty good. Uh, they're basically just like super pre-promotes, honestly. Now, at this point, I'm actually going to choose not to attack this faceless, even though I did technically uh, save a turn with Leo here by getting a crit with Camilla. Ordinarily, I would have had Leo finish off that Stoneborn, but it's not needed. Now, the reason I didn't attack that Faceless is because I still want Silas to be building... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I still want Silas to be building up his shield gauge as much as possible. So, by choosing to not attack that Stoneborn, or that Faceless, rather, we're actually getting two, two uh, charges of his shield gauge instead of just one, basically. Camilla's gonna go at this Stoneborn as well. She does not get a crit, which is fine. Silas can actually finish this guy off from here. Uh, accounting for the fact that we're about to get a savage blow Which is coming in very handy for this map I must admit So yeah that guy takes another 9 which is going to mean that Silas can run up on this one right here And put him into the dirt <laughs> From where he came from I assume he, What are these guys anyways they're like big rock beasts He will protect his friends that's right get out of here so I guess we didn't need Camilla for this, but I had nothing better to do for her anyways. And of course, there was no way to know that we would get a critical hit right there. Now with Dude, because we gave her the boots forever ago, we can actually swoop over here and hit this Dragon Vein. It might seem kind of weird that we are uh, not using Dude to go on the offense quite so much here, but the fact that she has such good movement range and also is able to hit the Dragon Veins due to her royal dragon blood, or <laughs> whatever the justification is, uh, it makes her really useful for getting that done. Obviously, uh, things get really, really hairy when you don't have the ability to freeze these guys every single turn. Now, there are five Dragon Veins on the map, so that's typically what I would recommend as sort of a pseudo time limit, right? You don't really want to deal with all of these faceless. That's the big gimmick. Again, there's just so many of these guys. They're going to run you down really, really quickly. And in case you're thinking that you can use this as an opportunity to easily grind up, that was a really good level up. Finally, Laszlo. God damn. <laughs> In case you're thinking of like trying to grind on these guys, where are they? Yeah, these suckers right here. 95% uh, of the reinforcements on this map are both really obnoxious because you can see they have Worry Fighter. But they also have this special ability called Boyd Curse, which means that when you kill them or even fight them in general, you're getting no experience. And I think that even counts for weapon experience as well. So the only thing you could get, the only thing you could potentially gain from fighting these guys would be like support points, really. And how, how valuable is that, honestly? So I, I definitely recommend that you try to get this one done sooner rather than later. Now we're going to take Ajra. <laughs> I didn't really explain that, but we, we traded Ajra over to Elise so that we could uh, fly up that cliffside. It's a little bit faster to go about it that way rather than having her walk all the way around the stairs like that. Camilla can come at this guy as well. A crit there would have been kind of nice, but not really necessary. Because Leo's actually in range to swoop up and finish this guy off. I don't think he needs to use the lightning. Uh, that is one downside about that spell, by the way. Oh my god. Oh. My heart. <laughs> my heart can't take it. She's so good. <laughs> Goddamn, she's going to get trampled here really quick, too. And that's going to be amazing. Now, the one downside about the lightning spell, though, is that it does reduce your... I believe it's magic and skill. Yeah, magic and skill by two every time you use it. Uh, on player phase, anyways. If you have it equipped during enemy phase, it doesn't continue to debuff you or anything like that. But every time you attack with it, uh, you lose a little bit of power. So you don't want to use it in situations where you don't have to. That said, you can use it during attack stance, for example. And you can get all of the benefit with none of the drawbacks. So you, you'll, you'll like attack twice, but you won't actually nerf your stats. So that's something else you can and should do uh, when the situation calls for it. Now we're just going to go ahead and unpair these guys. Uh, you can escape in pairs, by the way, so you don't have to have every unit individually escape the map. I don't think that that's really uh, necessary to say, but it is worth uh, pointing out in case there was any confusion about that. Now, dude is just barely, and I do mean just barely able to hang on with, like, what was that, 2, 3 HP tops? 
but it's just enough, man. <laughs> I don't really need her on particularly great health. I just need her to be able to survive. That's the main thing at this point. Now, we're going to pair her up with Mozu, actually, and move right about here. And I actually bought an elixir just so that at this point I would be able to heal back to full no matter how many attacks we got hit by. So dude is all the way back and she is within range to hit this last dragon vein right here. Well I say last one, there's actually another one right here, but we're gonna have to kill that faceless in order to actually access it. Now at this point, I would like to get Odin on over, no 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 no. <laughs> I wanna get Odin over to Niles so that we can start working on these last faceless up here. So we can do one of these moves. Yeah, something like this. I obviously want to be next to Elise as well, because that will be building up our supports, despite the fact that we're not technically doing an attack stance with her. Now, Odin actually has a really good shot of just gimping this guy, which would be awesome, as we do. He's done. He is done. Get out of here. And this is kind of the support that I'm trying to build up right now. Ideally, I would get, I would get Ophelia, right? And that would give me enough time to unlock the next child which would give me enough time to unlock the next child and so on and so forth and sort of like this domino effect that's kind of what I'm going for uh, if we can get Ophelia though that would be the place to start I think skill luck defense that was awful <laughs> that was so bad dude you gotta do way better than that my man now what we can do here is use silence this is probably the sketchiest thing in the entire map but if we can take this guy out right here we'll have successfully cleared a path for Ajra to run up and dance forward dude which is exactly what we're trying to do so let's get it. Uh, if this fails, I should still have a chance, and I do mean a chance, to use, uh... Well, what happened to his horse? Did did his horse always look like that? What's going on? <laughs> Wait. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine being hit so hard that it knocks the clothes right off your back and your horses, too? What the hell? I, I totally lost my train of thought, guys. <laughs> I think I was going to say we could have used the lease if I had missed there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have used the least had I missed there, but it's better that we don't so that Silas just gets that experience so that he can uh, become a little bit more relevant, I think. He's doing pretty good on this map, though, I'm not going to lie. Dude is putting in some work. And by dude, I mean Silas. <laughs> so let's hit this Dragon Vein as well. We're just going to go ahead and freeze all these guys once again. Now, Silas is, of course, in range of this Stoneborn, but he does have a full shield gauge, so that's why I'm not too worried about him right now. Uh, with Camilla, we're going to move her up here. I, I need to kill this guy in enemy phase. I, I have to. And we can go ahead and pop this vulnerary right now. Which will allow us to do just that. Now we don't have a shield gauge going into this unfortunately. But there's not really a whole lot I can do sadly. I can now heal up Elise I guess. Just to get a little bit more experience on Sue Felicia. More than anything else really. Uh, right. <laughs> Maybe kill this guy who can murder Ajra. That's probably a good move. So we'll have Leo do this. Take this guy on out of here. He's almost up to another shield gauge as well. So when he attacks at all, this is the first time he attacks on the next turn, he's going to have a full shield gauge once again, which will protect him from the last stone board. No doubt going to get magic in speed because Leo's been on fire with it. Yup. <laughs> what a god. What a beast, dude. I love this guy. I love this guy. He really should have just been the main character, honestly. <laughs> I would have been totally okay with that. Now, with at least we can move her to like... It doesn't really matter. I just need her out of range, yet in range of that Stoneborn, because we're going to need to take him out in case Camilla does not get a critical hit. Well, she may, she may not. It really just depends. We're going to guard that guy. Of course, these guys have no chance of doubling me, even if they had a speed stat. It's like 10. I don't know if I pointed that out directly. But they have no speed. But either way, they have wary fighters, so it wouldn't matter. That was a really weird level up. <laughs> Dude, magic but no reds? Come on. She still has three reds. Can we just talk about that? Can we just talk about how the level 10... Like, the, the level 2010 dude has three reds. Three. <laughs> That's so bad, dude. That's so bad, dude. Uh, Elise is totally back to full. It's not going to matter, though, at this point, because we were able to clear out this spot, giving dude a chance to sneak in right here and hit the Dragon Vein once again. Now, it wouldn't have mattered that we dodged an attack there because we'd be building up enough shield gauge so that we can block one attack. Now, none of these faceless can kill her in a single hit even if she had been hit by every single attack on that previous turn so it doesn't really matter in that sense uh, it's it definitely makes me feel safer but it's it's not actually any safer <laughs> it would be the same thing more or less now we can use at least right here fly up here and murder this last stoneborn or the last one i care about anyways uh, these guys do not have particularly great resistance so that's something you can take advantage of of course it's kind of why i liked having uh lightning on leo 
It is a little bit unfortunate that I wasn't able to get Ophelia first because you can get a free lightning in her paralog, but hey, it is what it is. We just spend the money. It's no big deal. Uh, lightning is, of course, a very good spell, so obviously I'd want to pick that up eventually anyways. Now with Camilla, we just want to make sure that Audrey is out of range of these guys, and I also would like to heal up Camilla. It actually doesn't matter at all. It literally does not matter, but I still need to dance for her because I need the extra little bit of speed so that I can actually one round KO that boss. So we're going to move like right there with Camilla, get Ajura right here, and as you can see, we're getting really, really close to that escape point. Really, really close to that escape point. In fact, I think everybody can hit it, no problem. No problem at all. Now, Silas is the only thing I'm kind of worried about here. Ooh. Well, it doesn't matter. I guess Silas isn't going to get a kill. What I can do is use Leo, kill this guy who's next to Elise. Because that could be a little bit dangerous, I think. And since Leo never took a hit this entire map, it doesn't matter. He's going to be in range of both the uh, both the faceless and the massive rock stoneborn guy. <laughs> That's what his weapon is called, right? <laughs> That's what his weapon is called, by the way. There's, there's ones with rock, and then there's ones with massive rock. <laughs> they throw an even bigger rock on you. And unlike Path of Radiance, these rocks can kill you, without a doubt. Oh yeah, make no mistake. Uh, but anyway, since we danced for Camilla, we can now fly up here and one round KO this guy just barely by using that Steel Axe Forge that we've been sitting on for a while. Oh boy, more of these guys, huh? Grrr, Boy, you better sit down right now. <laughs> Let me tell you, there's one. And obviously, he can't even hit me due to the fact that we have a full guard right there. So this guy's going to go down without really much of a fight at all. And Elise is totally safe. Grrr! Compelling dialogue. <laughs> Truly a gripping story. We get that arm scroll though, that's gonna be nice. Uh, it's a free weapon ring essentially, and you can see how slowly these grow naturally, so every little bit of help counts, honestly. Now we can get these two way the hell up here. In fact, I'm just gonna have uh I'm gonna have Felicia heal up Silas just because we can. It's free weapon rank, free experience, all that good stuff. Bring your boy back a little bit. And now I'm just going to switch out to Niles so that we can all escape on the next turn. And there's really nothing that can go wrong right here. Really nothing at all. Now, of course, like I said at the beginning, you can just cheese this by having a few people who can make it through this gauntlet of enemies. But I really think it's a lot more satisfying to do things uh, the intended way, I guess. That, that's just an opinion, of course. You, like I said, you can just cheese it, you can low man it, do whatever you gotta do. But it's really, it's not really too bad, as long as you're using the Dragon Veins to your utmost advantage. Uh, really good level up there, Camilla, but who really expected anything else? Leo's, of course, going to put this guy in the dirt as best he can. And we're, we're basically done here, guys. Like, there's not really too much else to add. I, I don't really understand why people wouldn't like this map. I guess it's just something I'm not seeing. So if you're somebody who doesn't like this map, I'd be, I'd be very intrigued to hear why. Be very interested to hear what about this map doesn't really do it for you. I mean, honestly, yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't see it. it. It goes back to that whole personal preference thing, though. So I guess, you know, to each their own and all that. But at this point, we can just escape with everybody. Again, you do have to have every character that you brought escape the map, which is why I say you can low man it to kind of cheese it that way. If you only bring dude, then you only have to escape with her, for example. So that's something to consider. Anyways, we are done here. We got the arm scroll. Arthur and Camilla are the best as expected, and that is that. You know what's bullshit, guys? <laughs> Power outages. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and let the cat out of the bag in this one. Uh, this this might be emulated. This may or may not be. <laughs> I own all three games. Uh, that is my excuse. I genuinely don't want to promote uh, less than legal means of playing this game, I guess, for lack of better words. I, re I really don't, because this game is kind of new, so that's why I didn't really want to throw that out there. Uh, this is a bad move. What am I doing? Yeah, there we go. But... <laughs> Since we're gonna go ahead and throw that out there anyways, uh, that does mean that we might be playing the rest of the game in 720p, so there's that, huh? I don't know why I didn't just do this from the beginning, it looks so much better. <laughs> God damn, Savage Blow MVP! I guess this is a good demonstration of the fact that dude's HP doesn't matter, uh, so there's that at the very least. She still lived with 5 this time, so... 
There you go. I didn't do anything different either. Uh, experience might be a little bit different, but it doesn't really matter. We more or less did everything exactly the same. And hopefully this time we can actually finish this crap. Okay. Oh, thank God escaping with dude first doesn't screw you, by the way. <laughs> All right, for real this time. Now, let us get our uh, reward, if you could call it that. Damn it, there really is no end in sight. Uh, we killed like 50 of these dudes on the way here. I don't see why three more are going to stop us. Dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay, Ashura. But I'm not sure we'll be able to make it up the stairs like this. Unbelievable. The Faceless seem to be concentrating their attacks on you, dude. I've never seen anything quite like it. Almost as if... Listen. I think Xander's onto this. So did... Does he know that Iago's evil? I mean, he must, right? Xander's not exactly stupid. At least not <laughs> At least not when the plot's not calling for him to be stupid, you know what I mean? So it seems like maybe he's... Maybe he's onto this. Dude, go on ahead while we fend them off. That's an order. Huh? What? No, I won't leave you. Not enough. You are a leader, dude. Think with your head, not your heart. No matter what happens to us, you mustn't fall here. All of Nora is counting on you. Leave this mess to us and get out of here. We'll buy you enough time to escape. I won't say it again, little princess. As the crown prince of Nora, my word is law. Hey, that's a good point, actually. So, <laughs> couldn't you have put an end to this much sooner? Go, now! I'm sorry, I, I know I shouldn't be analyzing this plot at this point. I, I'm i sorry, it's just how I work, apparently. That said, it is about to get much worse, so. But Xander, I can't just leave you to, I, I can't let you. Uh. Xander is right. If we're here to end this war and bring peace to the world, we can't let you die here. You're the fated hero, dude. The Yado chose you for a reason. So please trust us. Get out of here while you still can. And get out of here we shall, most likely. My god, could you imagine if Ajiro could actually take a hit like that? I'm pretty sure he's basically just straight up one shot her, no lie. Run, dude. Ajra. Okay, I trust you, and I will do as you say. <laughs> Sorry, I thought of the sociopath Ajra again. <laughs> we will meet again. We must. Until then, goodbye. It'll be like five minutes. So why did we leave the dancer back to fend these guys off again? Can somebody just run that by me? <laughs> I knew I should have spent more time on the Stairmaster. I finally made it up the eternal stairway. Hoshido is just ahead. I hope everyone is alright. Please, gods, let them be alright. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> I don't think you are. Bro. <laughs> Huh? Oh no, a single faceless! More faceless, how can this be? <laughs> Lilith, no! <laughs> so... <laughs> I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> what else did you think was gonna happen here? <laughs> they foreshadowed it so well! <laughs> <laughs> It's still funny to me. And see, that's my point exactly. Oh no, a single face list. And I'm pretty sure that that's accurate too, dude. Dude could one-shot that guy. So like... I don't know. It's, just, it's about to get dumber though. Why, Lilith? Why? Why did you risk your life for me? This can't be happening. Hang in there, Lilith. Oh no, she's dead. Oh, she's very dead. <laughs> uh? Lilith, you're... Oh... <laughs> okay. Oh man, where to begin? Where to even begin? So like, if you would have asked me a month ago, right? If this were the worst death I have ever seen in a video game, I would have told you that I'm busy, ask me again in a month. And today, I would say yes. <laughs> yes, oh yeah, absolutely. This is by far, hands down, the worst thing I have ever seen. <laughs> This is handled so poorly, and I will say this, this is not, this is no longer the most offensive death to me personally, but it's still the worst. <laughs> so, but like, <laughs> all I can think when I see this is just, why? Why, like, what was the point of this? You know what I mean? Like, 
I said this isn't the worst death to me personally, but to the situation that I'm referring to, at least I can understand, like, why they would kill that character. But this is just ridiculous. There, Lilith has no importance to anything. Like, who the f- Who is Lilith? Like, really, who is Lilith? Why do I care that she's dead right now? I don't. And it's like, I don't even have a problem with Lilith. If anything, I just kind of feel bad for her. Because they just- <laughs> She exists just to die. That's the only reason she's in this story at all, I guarantee. It was just for this one moment right here. And it's like, it's not even good, dude. Was there any hint that this might happen? I know at the beginning of the chapter, right? So, yeah, we're, yeah, we're just going to sit here with the sad music for a little bit, I guess. But this game has got me going, and I'm going to see this through. So at the beginning of the chapter, right, we saw Iago complaining to his love, like, oh, man, they're going to lose an arm or a leg, at least a hand or something. But, like, was that supposed to indicate to me, the player, that this crap was about to happen? That is not how you foreshadow something. As far as I'm concerned, Lilith already completed her purpose in, like, Chapter 7. That should have been it. She should have never been in this story again. But she just... <laughs> oh, this is amazing. This game, like, the writing in this game, man, it's, it's so bad. It really is bad. It's indefensibly bad. And this is kind of... <laughs> this is kind of the point in the game where that was solidified for me. On my first playthrough, this is where I knew that I was just not going to care about anything that happened for the rest of the game. And I was right, I didn't. <laughs> but, man, I could not imagine how many hoops that you would have to jump through mentally to put this into the game. <laughs> and say, okay, yes, this is how it should be. This is what we need in our final product. <laughs> God, I'm so sorry, Lilith, you deserved better. <laughs> you really did. I don't even remember what Lilith's voice was. That's how irrelevant she is. So, like, why? That's just so disrespectful, man. <coughs> it would seem the astral dragon Morrow has taken pity on me. Is this what I sound like? <laughs> He's chosen to let me return to my human form for my last few. No. No, Lilith, don't you dare say it. I, I forbid it. <laughs> I don't think it works like that. You aren't allowed to die, Lilith. Please, I need you to live. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, milady. For the first and last time, I can't follow your orders. But please, please don't cry for me. I'm so grateful I was able to protect you. It's only fitting, after all. You saved my life, too, all those years ago. More than saving me, you gave me a place to call home. A family. Would have been nice to see that <laughs> a little bit more, don't you think? Especially if they were trying to build up to this, but whatever. Someone to... I'll never forget all our happy memories together. I die without regret. <gasps> Lilith, don't go. We've come so far. This war is nearly won. Don't make me say goodbye. Please, don't cry. Okay, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. My PlayStation is going apeshit. I don't know what's going on. It keeps spitting out the disc and I can't stop it. I'm gonna... Alright, enough of that. I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh, let's wrap this up, huh? Please don't cry, milady. Let me see you smile once more. I always adored you, dude. <laughs> you meant so much to me. Keep me in your heart, and I'll always, I'll always be with you. Bleh. Bleh. Lilith. Lilith. <laughs> no, white gods, no. Why does someone as pure as Lilith have to die that I might live? How can I? I can't even. Li I can't take this seriously. I know this is supposed. To, like I know they thought that this was so good. I know they did. They thought they had us. They thought they really had us with it. And this, this just kind of leads me back to a question that I can't help but ask myself whenever I play Fates. And I mean, this, this playthrough, it doesn't exist to like rip on this game or anything, but this is a genuine question that I have asked myself literally since completing this for the first time. Okay. Who is this game for? Like, no, I, I'm serious. Who is this game for? It can't be for Fire Emblem fans. I'm pretty sure that... I mean, I don't speak for the entire fan base, but I think that on the whole, we have a little bit higher standards than this. I mean, you could argue that Conquest is for Fire Emblem fans because the gameplay is so... It's so uh, tactical compared to the other ones in this little uh, mess of a trilogy. But, like... Was there anybody asking for this? <laughs> is this... <laughs> I, 
I mean, I'm, I'm honestly at a loss of words, and I, I kind of wanted to bring this up earlier with Iago, too, when, when he was, like, saying just, like, some totally over-the-top comical stuff. I, I can't help but feel like they just totally missed the mark on what people actually like about this series. Like, I can't be the only one that feels that way, right? Because you have a character like Iago, right, and he's clearly supposed to be at least somewhat imposing. And then you just look at the kinds of things he says when he's monologuing to himself. He has no reason to be this comic relief character when nobody else is around. You know what I mean? Like, why would he be... Like, why would he speak in such a way? Why would he portray himself as he does? And it's... It, it just feels so totally inconsistent. Like, this entire game just feels so inconsistent. I think that's what it comes down to. If you were to have a game... That was just not serious at all. Like, take a game like this guy. That game is not serious in the slightest. Could not be <laughs> any less serious. Okay, how, how, how unserious is that game for people who don't, who've never played it? Okay, so there is a weapon in that game. And I shit you not, it is literally a horse dick. That is the weapon. <laughs> and you know what the messed up part is? It's a really good weapon. <laughs> that is how not serious that game is. And it doesn't bother me. Do you know why? Because it's totally consistent. For the entire game, they set up it. They, they set up the fact very early on that it's not going to be a serious adventure, and I'm okay with that, because <laughs> because they're upfront about it. You know what I mean? When I bought Fates, I expected it to be at least moderately serious. You know, and it's like I don't. I feel like moments like this are just so unearned based on everything that we've seen leading up to this. And it just makes the whole thing seem like a giant mess. As if the person that wrote the story honestly never, <laughs> never passed basic English. Well, I not English, obviously, but you, you know what I mean. Like they better, they, like, they, like they never took a writing class in their entire life. That's what it honestly feels like, and it's just, it's sad. <laughs> it's sad, man. It really is. <laughs> I don't know if I read this line or not, but I think that, uh, I think I got all of that out of my system. <laughs> More now? Well, it is the endless staircase, dude. But I. Blah. Thank you, Xander. You were really just gonna let him kill you too. That's. <sighs> I'm not gonna have the corn conversation. We already had the Lilith conversation. I think. I think that's enough for today. Everything's okay. It's all right, dude. We're at your side once more. Oh, hey, who's that? <laughs> Xander, you're alive. Truly. Yes, thanks to Xander's in... <laughs> I, I thought she said, yeah, thanks to Xander's incompetence. Uh, thanks to Xander's incomparable skill, we somehow made it out alive. We're sorry to have kept you waiting. I'm so happy to see you both. I am so But sorry. Lilith. She. What's happened? Why is she... Uh? No, please, no, do... Okay, does anybody but Corrin even really know Lilith? Like, that's... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let, let's just wrap this up. We, we could have this discussion all day, I'm sure. <laughs> you can tell they wanted it so bad. <laughs> Lilith, she saved me from the faceless. Yet another life lost because of me. I want only to end this war. To stop all the death and destruction. And yet... How could this... There's no time for tears. Pull yourself together, dude. There's no more time for tears. Xander. Crying will not bring her back, nor is it what you should have wanted for you. Nor what she would have wanted for you. <laughs> English is not my first language, apparently. Listen. Listen, dude. I know this sounds harsh, but there's nothing you can do. Stop! <laughs> I don't know why I yell at inanimate objects like that. Uh, falling into misery and blaming yourself will not change anything. Lilith paid the ultimate price because she believes in you, as do we all. Do not tarnish the beauty of her sacrifice by letting it cloud your judgment. This is a war. If you let one death stop you from fighting with all your heart, we will not prevail. Do you really wish for her to have died in vain? Nice little pep talk, though, by Xander. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But... <laughs> or for your sorrow to put those of us who remain in danger. That's kind of my point, though, because that, that, that kind of ties back to the whole Corrin problem, but Xander is just now finally showing a little bit of tough love, and I feel like I feel like that would have went a long way if this would have happened sooner, man. <laughs> Not Lilith, obviously, but just... I, I don't know. 
I, I still to this day can't help feel that some of this could have been salvageable, <laughs> but God knows not this. No, but it hurts so much. The final showdown is still to come. This is just the beginning. I mean, he's not wrong. We're going into endgame, folks. There's a good chance that more of us will die in the battles that lie ahead. Boy, this is a 0% chance. Do you know who I am? Elise, Leo, Camilla, if any of us die in the days ahead, you must keep fighting. You must stand tall, swallow your sorrow, and fight until the bitter end. If you waver, your troops will waver too. You must not allow that to happen. And she who wields the legendary... Alright, Xander, can we wrap this up? I think we get it. Uh, that is your divine responsibility. So dry those tears, little princess. There's work to be done. Big brother. Xander, could you imagine this... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could you imagine this conversation if Camilla had been doing the pep talk? Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. Xander. Fight without fear or hesitation. Exactly. I mean, you will lead this war. war <laughs> you will lead this world into the light. Huh? I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. If you can, I'm really sorry. It's so obnoxious. Without fear or hesitation. But how, Xander? How do you do it? Hmm. By searching your soul and finding strength in your resolve. That is how. No matter what happens, don't ever stop fighting. Isn't that what Lilith would want? Lilith. Yeah. You're right, Xander, as always. Before she died, Lilith told me not to cry for her, to smile instead. I know it would upset her to see me like this. For her, I will carry on. Thank you, brother. I feel much better now. I promise not to waver, no matter what. I see. There's that smile Lilith was so keen to see. I'm proud of you, little sister. Now back to the task at hand. We cannot afford to stall here forever. Understood. Right. Lilith, we're gonna leave you to rest now. But then we must keep pressing forward. Could you imagine if they just left her? <laughs> I'll see you on the other side, my friend. We'll ride horses and chat about all the good times we've had since we last met for the first time. I really, w I really do, though. I really wish they would have went into that more if they were gonna try this angle at all. If anything, Lilith should have just straight up been a playable character. I think that would have just fixed this entire thing. <laughs> but that would require balls, wouldn't it? That would require them to have the stones to actually kill off a playable character. God forbid we have anything interesting happen in this game. <laughs> but the path to peace... Uh, I'm sorry to leave you in this place, but the path to peace is finally within reach. They're, really, they're, they're at the top of the stairs. They can at least take her out inside <laughs> the barrier. <laughs> From here, we're a stone's throw away from the Hoshden Castle. It won't be long now. Please keep watching over me, old friend, just like you always did. I hope that you know how much I loved you, and that I always will. Goodbye, Lilith. Goodbye, Lilith. I see. Oh, god damn it, this guy. So the little flying rat died, did she? I always did despise Lilith. Why? <laughs> what did she ever do to you, man? What a knowing way to go, protecting her master from her rightful torments. If it weren't for her intervention, I could have made Dude suffer even more. What is this weird obsession, man? Ah, well, at least that's one less shield for her to hide behind. Poor Dude, I've only just begun digging your pit of despair. Soon you will find yourself lost in its infinite darkness for all eternity. Your time is nearly up, false princess. Enjoy your last moments of joy. <laughs> And then he cackles to himself like a madman, no doubt. Okay, so uh, that was certainly... Oh, uh, yeah, that most that most certainly happened, man. Uh, honestly, I don't really have anything to add about that that hasn't already been said by me or otherwise. So that said, in conclusion, I really like that as a chapter. Uh, Gameplay-wise, story-wise, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. But that is going to do it for me, so... Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time. <laughs> so good to be back. Peace.